veteran no matter how long you've been coming to this event just the atmosphere here in Daytona is always huge. There's nothing like the buildup. One of the biggest races in the world. President Trump, have a great race, be safe. To the lead of the race, the five, they race back to turn one. Does anybody have anything left for the race leader? Gonna get turned, running, sliding, dead, he's headwind across the line. A violent crash. Oh, I need a coffee cup. Shit. <laughs> God. Oh, I'm not awake. Yeah, with it being the morning of the Daytona 500, obviously, nerves are gonna be running high. This is our first race back all off season. So, nice to take in a moment, reflect, understand how good and how bad this day can go and just try and go about it the best way possible. Blow it out, Bo. A stinky one. That stinks. The more I unwrap this burrito, the more I smell. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of poop on this one. Oh, yeah. He did a number on that diaper. Oh. How done? We're all clean. Cleanish. I was so nervous coming to Daytona, coming into this 2020 season with him being in a new series and us having a baby and like everything. Everything that we've known for the past seven years, changing. I gotta go finish getting ready, okay? The Daytona 500 has arrived. For the drivers, tensions are mounting. And it isn't any easier on the ones closest to them. I'd say Daytona is one of the more nerve-wracking ones, but I like to watch by myself. I'm normally a coucher with a book, and then his mom lets me know if anything eventful happens, so I'm not completely invested <laughs> in what's going on. I think I'd be more anxious if I was out there. I used to get nervous, and now, I think over the years, he's gotten me over my super anxiousness about it. How y'all doing? Austin. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Quincy. Nice to meet you. Omar, big First fan, dude. I see, I'm watching this as us. Hello, Marissa. Marissa, nice to meet you. Nice Keisha. Keisha. They said we should put some money on you, so. It's not a bad bet. <laughs> they usually give me good odds. <laughs> Feel good. I'm gonna go put the suit on, get ready. Mine's right. Kind of keeping my mind on the goal in the end of the day, right? Trying to be there at the end and have a shot to win. So that's everything that's in my mind right now is just trying to win this race. My favorite thing about Austin, I think I love his heart the most. He has a really big heart, and he's just a super loving person. On the outside, he can be a hard shell, but on the inside, he has a really big heart. Daytona, it's really exciting. I get a little nervous, but it's a great track for us, but it's scary. The one thing that really makes me nervous is just the race. That's the worst part. 
You can expect to be overwhelmed plenty by the pageantry and gravity of the Daytona 500 in any given year. But this year's ritual buildup will reach another gear entirely as the President of the United States is set to attend the Great American Race. Only the second time a sitting president has been to the Daytona 500. It's what we do. We love racing. Luckily, you just count your blessings and you move on. Oh, my God. That could have been my husband. It takes everything that you have, mentally, physically. It's pretty crazy. NASCAR All In. Battle for Daytona. Stream every episode now, only on the Motor Trend app. I mean, I just think that it's cool for the sport in general, you know? The president of the free world doesn't go to the Super Bowl, they'll come to our dates on the 500. Because of the president's visit, security is at an all-time high. Even the drivers are subject to a thorough check on their way into their own workplace. Good afternoon, and on behalf of the France family and NASCAR, I want to welcome all of you to the great American race in the 62nd running of the Daytona 500. Certainly a lot of special people in attendance today from actors to athletes, musicians, president. So let's put on a fantastic race and uh, we'll see one of you in victory lane and look forward to an exciting 2020 NASCAR Cup Series season. Dude, this is awesome. It's a big day. It is. It's going to be huge for the sport. Yeah. Austin Dillon's next stop isn't to meet up with his team or get strapped into his race car. It's to meet the president. Not your average race day morning. That's badass, dude. Look at that. That's cool. Air Force One circles Daytona International Speedway. A symbol of America soaring high above one of the most American of sports venues. This is cool. Dude, that is huge play. There's me and Johnny with Melania. Oh. Yeah. Damn, that's cool shit. Dude. Damn, man, you gotta frame that shit. The Don. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is really cool. It's time to go ahead and get after it. Remember, this is a long race, 500 miles, 200 laps, anything can happen. I think we got a good car. We put some speed in the car yesterday in practice. Got all the bug worked out on Thursday night, so um, we have some good draft and practice on Friday, learn some things. Today's the day where we go and uh, end up in victory lane. We've done it before. We can do it tonight. Let's go have a good day, man. Let's try to win this thing. Have fun, man. Oh, yeah. Now, come on. I know. Come on, sir. Why are you <laughs> Where you start? Six? You won this thing, hadn't you? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for Daytona 500 driver introductions? In the number 32, RagingBull.com board, Corey LaJoy. Two-time NASCAR Xfinity Series champion, Tyler Reddick. Daytona 500 champion, driver of the three, Austin Dillon. Let's go. With well over 100,000 fans settled in the stands and plenty more in the infield, the drivers get a ride around the speedway to salute the dedication and passion they feed off of in every race. These people here party just a little harder. <laughs> Pretty cool day. Pretty cool. I like trying to make eye contact with people. Hey! about half an hour away from a day that could change somebody's life forever. Hopefully it's not. 
everybody's fired up, ready to go. But there's still 500 miles and that you have to, to pace yourself through. Some guys blew me a kiss. He was cute. I'm yeah, pretty excited. It's kind of a big deal. Daytona 500. As they edge closer to strapping in for 500 miles, they take one more moment with family, the ones who will be both cheering and praying as the race goes on. That's the family. Can you zoom in on them all the way up there? That's my crazy ass family and the free tickets that I got them. It's all the way up in the nosebleeds. <laughs> oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Yes, sir. Okay. What do you want me to do? Win the damn race. I looked up there and seen 313. That's good luck. You will win. All right. Go there. Okay. We love you. Be patient. Bye bye. Love you. Love you, everybody. Uh, I love you. Love you. Good luck. Thank you. Go get them. Dear Heavenly Father, we come today most humbly as we can. We touch all to them safe, dear Heavenly Father, and bring them all the way to Victory Lane. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Here we go. All right, big man, I got a hike. Let's do it. Over communicate. All right? I got your back. We just got to overcome adversity better than everybody else. We'll be all right. Bye. Right. Do it. Come on. We got a ways to go. We got about 500 miles to get there. Ready. All right, good job. Good job. Yeah, Stay focused, woman. All right, no getting. All right, my man, how you feeling? Pretty good. Good. You're still thinking, how's our strategy going to work? What's my car going to drive like? All these drivers care about right now is getting that green flag. The most famous words of motorsports at the Daytona 500. Gentlemen, start your engines. Ready to go. Yeah, buddy. We are ready to race in Daytona for 500 miles. No matter how long you've been coming to this event, there are butterflies. Let's go, baby. We got the Daytona 500 to go in now. A sitting United States president pacing the field. Drivers, have a great race. Be safe. Unpredictability of the Daytona 500 is a large part of its appeal. The lead can change hands multiple times a lap, with the next wreck often just around the corner. But the element of unpredictability that no one's anticipating is precipitation, which in Central Florida can sometimes emerge out of nowhere. The rain on in one and two, it's starting to rain over there. Like a raindrop over in two here, still green. Caution's out. Caution's out. Just be smart through there. It's uh, going to be a little slick. Raining pretty hard over there, too, it looks like. See it on the radar. Uh, we're going to come down pit road here. Two crew members. Looks like they're going to let you get out. No, so, I'm good, boys. It looks like it's going to rain from now until 12 a.m. So. Jerry, where are we lost? We got that going for us. Rain at a racetrack. It's the ultimate anticlimax. After the entire NASCAR world pushed their anticipation beyond the brink, the Daytona 500 will not be finished today. Looks like it'll take until Monday night to reach the finish line. Yeah, that was brutal. Like, you get amped up, adrenaline's up here. Yeah, America! And then, yeah, racing. Right, here we are. We only got 20 laps in, so we're gonna be starting um, 
at four o'clock tomorrow on Monday, and we'll have 180 laps to go to figure this one out. Just have one more day now to prepare for our biggest race. Monday morning, act two at the Daytona 500. Everyone seems relaxed given the significance of the event they're still technically in the middle of. Everyone that is, except for the folks at Go Fast Racing. Their dramatic speed weeks has reached another stumbling block. Ready? Yeah. Ignition on? No, no fuel pressure yet. I still got no fuel pressure. If the lift pump isn't getting refilled. So, 8 to 10 is correct. That's the correct amount of fuel pressure. For some reason, we're happy. Probably not. I thought your day was going to go. Me either. All right, let's go through this again. Okay. During yesterday's delay, the car sat covered on pit road. But evidently, some rain seeped through and it's playing havoc with the number 32's powertrain. The engine won't fire. Went in the garage, got our car ready, and we just found that it wouldn't start up. Noticed some dampness in the yeah, trunk. Great. All right, turn that one. Bring switch down. NASCAR allowed us to go in there and cleaned it up, dried it up. plan here, but I think we're good. We need to execute, so we'll see if we can do it and try to uh, try to bring this thing up front. We're going to win a race. I won't, I won't points, but we're going to win a race. That's, that's why we're here. That's why we stuck around next day. It is Monday, but we're still in a really good mood, I guess you could say. The mood's right. feel good. Let's be smart. Same goals that we've had all week. The biggest thing is just executing our plans when it comes down to it. I should be good, man. I've been rip, working bro. at yep. it. I got you dropped. Let's go. Let's have a day, baby. Start the season off right. And here they come. Green flag is in the air. Lap 25 goes on the board, and we're racing again. Run. Don't get frustrated. I'm in a shitty spot here. We'll lose the draft if I don't stay wide open. Stay apart, buddy. We'll take care of you. Pity this time. Alright, be ready. Be ready. Go, 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 go. One lane, one lane. One of the rookies in the 2020 Rookie of the Year running, and that would be Tyler Reddick. He is one of those highly talented rookies to come up. Go, 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 go. All the way out, all the way out. Help up, help up. Little agency there. Sorry. All right, pal, you got up to the court now. Bro, that, that Tyler Reddick guy. Gotta come this time. We're gonna run out of fuel. Come this time. I call you out. Or did you just take off? Sorry, pal. Working on stage. Well, just go ahead and get your shit together here. Oh, he hit it! It's empty. You start shaking your head. I gotta empty it. I need all of it. Right. Ready? Go, go, go. 
People are obviously capable of handling the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. We've lost Dale Earnhardt. I don't know how many people have had to experience them within seconds of each other. Gonna pick up now, Pepper. Yeah, I'd say so. As the sun sets, the intensity rises. Austin Dillon, Tyler Reddick, and Corey LaJoy are all still in contention heading into the final stage of the Daytona 500. But they know trouble could brew at any moment. It is one giant pack thundering off turn number four. Everybody feels like they've got a place. I get a little nervous when they're, you know, neck and neck and they're bumper to bumper and they're pushing. Wish they wouldn't stay on the bumpers. So I get nervous. It's getting aggressive at the front of this field. Two and three wide racing. I'm sure they're going to wreck yours too and they're all pushing too hard. I feel like everybody is going to be big here in a second. Trouble back straight away. The field is flying apart. Bracket easy, easy. Back it down. Big one, big one. Stay low, low, middle, middle. Bracket. Trouble. Greg. Here's the big one. Ryan Blaney, Jimmy Johnson, Austin Dillon. About a dozen cars crash and collide over here on the back straightaway. The big one has broken out here at Daytona like a ticking time bomb. You knew it was going to happen. We just didn't know exactly when. We got damage. Obviously, right front is a big problem. Not that bad. Keep coming. Five away. Four, three. Let's get four tires changed first, guys. Get tires changed first. Come on, guys. Let's get tires on it first so we can roll. OK, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Like. Just pushed in on the bottom left-hand side of the fender. Left side looks good, man. We're just going to fix that right front and that nose. Though the damage to the number three is limited, it will nevertheless diminish their chances of winning another Daytona 500. Everybody good. All right, let's go. All clear. The revised contingency plan will be to keep racing as best they can, knowing the leaders could still get caught up in more wrecks, vaulting Austin Dillon up the running order, maybe even back to the top. It'll be four laps to go. Newman Logano on the front row, green flag. Joey Logano gets a big shove. Newman fights back to the bottom. Logano tries to put the arrow block on him. Newman to the lead with Denny Hamlin in tow. Denny Hamlin shoving Ryan Newman. They have broken away. Be on your toes, be on your toes, four wide front. This is where you gotta be more aggressive. Let's make it to the end of this thing and win this, bitch. Every lap, it's like that. For 200 laps, it's like, okay, what's gonna happen now? Brewing. I can tell it's brewing. They're gonna wreck up here. Kill it's coming. I get very nervous. It's like a, like I'm gonna be sick feeling. You have such an adrenaline rush. When you get down to those last laps, they feel like an eternity. You just think of all these things that could go wrong or not in their favor. Oh! They're crashing! Logano is in it! Ross Chastain is in it! Tyler Reddick! Oh my God. Hold it up there if you can, bud. Hold it up there. Come on, water. We're done. Okay, bring it to me. Bring it to me. I thought I was going to get through it before it got much worse. That was the wrong idea there. No, you were, you were fine. You did everything right. There's nowhere for you to go by that point. Shot it 
it off. Shut it off. All right, I think we're done. Sorry, guys. We're done. We're done. I don't want to. I don't want to oil down the whole racetrack for everybody else. All right, you want me to drop the window net? Yeah, you can drop the window. Net. We're done. It's a tough way for Tyler Reddick's Daytona 500 to finish up. The 28th place finish, just a few laps short of the checkered flag, isn't what he came here for. But today looks to be just a start of his story at the sport's highest level. He could have hung out in the back and probably got a little bit better finish, but I came here to win, and that's all you can hope for. Thank you. With Reddick out of the race and Dylan struggling, Richard Childress Racing's chances of conquering this Daytona have dwindled. What are we thinking here? Get as much as we can? Let them wreck or what? I don't know. I think they're going to wreck, but I don't want to be riding around the 18th when they don't. I don't know. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Probably not going to be all of the crash yet. Go like you. Corey LaJoy, on the other hand, has dodged all the wrecks. He's in good position. But with two laps to go, the pressure to make that hard work stick for a solid finish is mounting. Team owner Archie St. Hilaire thinks he might have a winning formula. I think that high line's where he ought to be. I know it's faster, but trouble up there. Yeah, I let him rise. Oh, yeah. Long, he gets up to him. I no told him to go. stay on the bottom. Pepper moved him up there. No, 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 no. I will. Two to go. Go get it. You know what I mean? Outside. Stand in nice. Corey LaJoy, 28-year-old driver out of Concord, North Carolina, driving for Go Fast Racing, right now is in position number six. Corey LaJoy is a driver who's quietly held around in the top 15, avoided the big crashes that we've seen to this point in the race. They've had good pit stops down there, a nice strategy being implemented by Ryan Sparks, his crew chief. All right, brother. Nice little shoot out here. Stay focused. Go get him. I will do what I can. The crowd here at Daytona on their feet. Green flag back in the air. Green, 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 green. All you can get here, stay right on it. Nobody able to get the advantage. Newman down low in the Ford. Hamlin topside in the Toyota. And play wreck again here. Just keep on trucking. Look at those eyes on Denny Hamlin looking in this mirror. Throw the high side, they're coming to your bumper, giving you help. Give me all you got right here. Go with the run, go with the run. Here comes Corey LaJoy, a big shove. Side by side for second. LaJoy and others are right behind him. Denny's got to be careful getting too far out there and letting a big run. Outside, outside, still there, help come with you. LaJoy on the back bumper of Ryan Newman, challenging for second. Right to your bumper, pushing you outside, outside. White flag in the air. Hamlin, Ryan Newman, the outside, and Corey LaJoy on the bottom. Next flag will end the race. Newman's got locked onto his rear bumper. No help, outside, get a run back. Here comes Newman. Here they come, reaching into the banking. Here they come. And here comes Blaney. For the final time, Hamlin is out in front. Big run coming here. Newman to the inside. Ryan Newman to the lead of the Daytona 500. Newman to the front. Nothing Denny Hamlin could do. What can Ryan Blaney now do? Go get him. Focus forward here. You got this. Does anybody have anything left? Well, this thing's not over yet. Blaney to the outside. Oh. To the inside. Here comes Hamlin up the outside. Wow. Just an absolutely terrifying crash here, just short of the start finish line. You all right, buddy? 
You okay? You okay? A hushed crowd in Daytona stands awaiting word, as are we, on the condition of Ryan Newman and Corey LaJoy. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Even as the checkered flag has waved over the Daytona 500, with Denny Hamlin raising the Harley J. Earl trophy in victory lane, the celebration is muted and things turn more somber as the other drivers and teams begin to realize the magnitude of the wreck and the uncertainty of Ryan Newman's condition. Newman, get out. get out you hear the fans reacting to the situation and it definitely changed my feelings you don't think about it you just think it's Daytona and it's a big crash but you think everything's gonna be okay you definitely look at things and just say our sport is it is dangerous there's times that you just never know what can happen but it's what we do that's what we put our lives out here to do. We love racing. Good job. Good start, though. Yeah. Ryan Newman has been helped from his car. He's been loaded into an ambulance, taken to a local hospital. And that's all the information that we can provide to you at this time, after a wild finish to the second closest Daytona 500 ever. Yeah, it was a phenomenal race. Uh, all the way until we came into the trial over there. And, you know, safety has come a long way in this sport. Um, but sometimes we are reminded that it uh, is a very dangerous sport. And we just, uh, thoughts and prayers right now are with Ryan Newman and his family. You're taking him straight to the hospital. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know. What? Yeah, so I did not I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm not. Uh, right. Yeah, Corey LaJoy was in a position him, right? to win the Great American Race. Wild, wild last lap there, so, Corey. Um, are you all right? And what uh, what what happened? What did you see there at the last lap? Uh, well, the, the narrative kind of changed a little bit. Now Bob said that he went straight to the hospital. That's uh, obviously scary. For Go Fast Racing, it's a rush of particularly contradictory emotions, considering they were involved in the shocking climactic crash and yet still finished eighth, a major success for a team of their stature. You know, I don't give a shit how much money you got, how many employees you got, this team's got heart, man, and we just keep dealing on these damn things, and we, we got it, man. Top 10, we keep going. This is a huge Daytona 500. Yeah, but you Yeah, right? all day. Good job, son. I knew when he started flipping, I go, we're up there. We, I didn't see it in the original picture, and then when he did the replay, I go, that's us. Awesome. It happened, it happened like that. I couldn't oh, yeah. even know now. Yeah, I couldn't tell who I hit. Yeah. I was like, I gotta get out of something. I'm sure yeah. the carburetor's knocked off of it, so it's about to be a hell of a fire. Yeah, and it yeah. was. Yeah. I was I'm gonna grab a couple of mics and do a little like this. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Oh my god. Damn, I hope it's going to be I know, I don't. That was scary. It is. I mean, what did you do? You just hit him right past him, pick him straight up, right? Yeah, right to the left side. Did you? Yeah. I'm, I didn't know where I hit him because it was all smoke. I, I couldn't yeah. see. Dang, I hope he's all right. That's uh, scary, man. It is scary. They, show, they showed the wreck, and I was like, oh. That was pretty scary. I didn't know where it was. I, just, I knew I had, to get, I had to get out and that I was involved in a hell of a wreck. Coming out of four, I was trying to beat the 62, so I was kind of looking out of my left side window and looking out of my peripheral, I seen a light colored car get turned and then there's just a wall of smoke that you can't see through. That's when all hell broke loose.
Folks, I can have your attention here at the Media Center. Uh, we're joined now by NASCAR Executive Vice President Steve O'Donnell, who's going to provide a, uh, a quick update. Steve? Yeah, thanks, Tom. I wanted to provide everybody an update on Ryan Newman. Um, he's been transported to Halifax Medical Center. He's in serious condition, but doctors have indicated his injuries are non-life-threatening. We're going to continue to work with the race team and Ryan's family uh, to support them in any way we can. We'd ask that you respect their privacy, um, and going forward, we'll provide updates as we can. But at this time, our thoughts are with Ryan and his family. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. The next day, as the teams unload their Daytona cars and focus their efforts on the upcoming race weekend, concern for Ryan Newman is still very much on their minds. Holy smokes. I've never seen anything like that. That was scary, man. No. NASCAR's done a really good job of making our sport safe. And when you see someone get hurt or something happen like it did, this garage is one of the best at picking them back up and getting them back where they want to be, where they can fight alongside of you and, and race against you. It's incredible to see the reach that this has created and wishing the best for Ryan Newman, supporting him. These tweets coming in, not just from those in the NASCAR community, but all facets of life and literally from all over the world. Just two days later, we see this tweet coming out from Roush Fenway Racing saying Ryan Newman has been treated and released from Halifax Medical Center. You see him there walking away with his two daughters. A very great sight to see. I texted Newman. I'm sure he had like 2,000 text messages, but he, he texted me right back. And that was, that was pretty neat because he didn't have to do that. And I didn't know if he was mad at me didn't even know who I was or, or nothing, but uh, my first text message on Wednesday was, holy f man. He goes, yeah, I'm good. I said, you? I said, yeah. The dude was big. I took a lick, but I'm good. Maybe he's coming in the summer. Coming in April. Step one, open stroller. Got it. Okay. Uh -oh. <clears throat> the wreck happened, and once we got home was really like our time to just sit there and like appreciate what you have and who you're waking up to in the morning. <laughs> this could have been the day that, you know, we didn't go home together. She was obviously upset after the fact, and it's easy to kind of say what ifs and all that, and it's just the natural thing to do, and she was doing that as well as I did sometimes. Well, you have to eventually zip it to that. But luckily, you just count your blessings and you move on. Watch out. Nailed it. <laughs> that could have been my husband, and here I am, you know, 34 weeks pregnant. He's going to be a father. What would I have done if he didn't walk out? You know the risk that comes along with it, but we want the baby to grow up in this. I want our son or daughter to have the same experiences and upbringing that he did and, and have those memories. Obviously, I care about my health and being with my family for the next 60 years. But the, the pursuit of a, a goal, it's kind of in the fabric and, and woven into who I am. I'm Corey of the Joy of Conklin, North Carolina. I'm just trying to fight and claw my way to the top. Ultimately, there are a lot of people who will tell you they see a lot of life reflected in a car race. The infinite promise when the green flag is waved. The absolute decree of the checkered one just a few hours later. What you do in between is what defines you, revealing everything you're willing to risk, rewarding everything you've ever dreamed about. And while there's a lot you can't control, 
There's also the wonder of the mere idea of giving it a shot, of trying to steer ideals like hard work and teamwork into victory lane. Austin Dillon, wait. Just won the big race today. Growing up watching my dad race, just being around it for so long, I think it's kind of prepared me for different things other than just driving. <laughs> being a part of that legacy that my grandfather, Dale, and everybody here at this company was able to create, it means a lot. That's just part of me. It's, it's family. Your winner, Tyler Reddick! Outside looking in, people simplify what NASCAR racing is. They just see him going around in circles. But it's a lot more than what it looks like. Racing is like life. Every decision you make becomes more and more important. You have a lot of crashing, poor finishes. But you have moments of greatness. Daytona was always only going to have one winner. But it was also just the start of a new season. There are a lot more green flags ahead. A lot more checkered ones to race for. We'll do it together? Let's do it together, shall we? Oh my god, thank you. I came all the way from Dayton, Ohio for this. You came to Dayton, Ohio for, for what? For this picture. For this picture? Yes. That's a long drive for one picture. Oh, you want to do two? Sure. <laughs> we call this the Sea Biscuit. Come on, Sea Biscuit! Yes, so, and, and Tyler's actually raced at it before me and Tyler. This is what I got to deal with. Where do you want my hands? How do you? What do you? What, what do I do with my hands? Just right here. <laughs> just I can relax. See from here. Yeah. I'm Ryan Sparks. No. Hi. Never I'm Ryan Sparks. Out. Yeah. I'm Ryan Sparks. Uh. I'm Ryan Sparks. Hi. I'm Ryan Sparks. Man, I'm gonna this up a few no, times. No, you're gonna nail it. All right, Ron. <laughs> I don't know. It's so scary. Is that? Yeah. Not like a dream. <laughs> You think you just killed a man? What? You think you just killed a man? All right, a little, a little more smile. Yeah, mommy don't even get belly rub. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! What? What is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what? Is that? <laughs> what is that? What are those? <laughs> nice Gucci. <laughs> You look like money right now. Hey, that thing is cool. I just I ain't seen many, many men wearing one. You got it covered. You pull it off well. Daytona is just the beginning. Get an inside look at the season long fight to make the cut and compete for the 2020 NASCAR championship. NASCAR All In, battle for the playoffs. Streaming this summer exclusively on Motor Trend. Are you guys not tired of following me around for the last six weeks? You just gotta follow me around in my private household. Go follow Joe Logano or something. I'm out of here. And there you have it. It's even crazier going back and watching it again. A um, lot of crazy events. Super glad uh, Ryan's okay. He's gonna be back racing with us here soon. Uh, it just brings back all the emotions uh, and. Motor Trend and NASCAR Productions they did a great job covering us, and we won the Battle for Daytona with the other two teams we were competing against. So that was a lot of fun to be part, of, part with. Again, you can watch the whole episode, all the episodes on the Motor Trend app, uh, and there's so much more automobile content on there. My favorites are uh, Roadkill, uh, Blinkman Eyes on there with Michael Waltrip's movie. So lots of great content on the Motor Trend app. Go check it out. Uh, and maybe you'll see me again. Who knows? But uh, thanks for everybody on Motor Trend. Thanks for everybody for tuning in, and uh, stay safe out there.